dual curin diazole based emulsions. The emulsion needs to be sensitized before you can use it. You can see I'm working under yellow safe light conditions. Um, so the, the, we've got UV blocking sleeves over the bulbs in here. And I'm just going to go through the process of sensitizing this emulsion. This is a straight diazole emulsion. This is CP Tex. Um, and I'm just going to go through that process for you right now. So I'm going to be sensitizing CP Tex for you. CP Tex is a straight diazo based emulsion. Uh, I just have a quart of it here. Uh, this little bottle is the diazo. This is the sensitizer. It is a powder. And then the quart itself will have the unsensitized emulsion in it. So what I'll do is open up the emulsion. And I'm wearing gloves because diazo, if it gets on your skin, will definitely stain quite a bit. If it gets on your skin, your clothes, anything, it's going to stain really bad. So I like to wear gloves so I don't have yellow hands for the next couple weeks. Let's open it up, get the foil off the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this little bottle of diazo up to the shoulder right here with water. And in this cup, I just have some room temperature, um, just tap water. So I just filled that up to here. There's just the, the powder and diazo inside. Put the cap back on. And now I'm going to mix this up for a good, you know, a, a good amount of time. You know, I, if, it's, if it's warm water, the diazo is going to dissolve much easier. If it's cold water, you're going to have to mix it up much longer. So now I'm going to pour that solution into the emulsion, making sure to get every last drop. And then with a stir stick, I'm just going to begin stirring in the diazo solution into the emulsion. slowly at first and then a little bit more vigorously just to make sure that you're getting it mixed in all the way. Um, I suggest using either wood stir sticks like what I'm using here today or you can use plastic I don't like using metal in any form. Uh, usually the edges are sharp on the metal stir sticks and you can actually scrape off plastic shavings of the bucket into the, into the emulsion, contaminating the emulsion. Also some metals like iron, uh, there's some other metals as well that will actually have a chemical reaction with the emulsion itself. So you can see I'm getting it good and mixed up. You want to make sure you scrape the sides real good. You want to make sure it's completely homogenous and mixed thoroughly all the way through the entire bucket. So after you mix the emulsion, the emulsion needs to sit and wait. Um, it's going to go through a degassing phase, so there's bubbles that will form. And that degassing phase, all of those bubbles need to release out before you use the product. So I let it sit for at least an, a couple of hours typically, 
It's best to, if you can mix it the night before and use it the next day. But you want to make sure all those bubbles degas out of the emulsion. Otherwise, those bubbles, if they were to form in your screen as it was coated, those bubbles would translate into pinholes. So I just put the cap on loosely, and I'll let that sit for a couple hours, and it's good to go.